The Hand of God by Yuval Kordov. Overview. The world ended the first time from AI, government, and nuclear weapons. Esther was there to see it happen and survived. Then God ended the world again. Fast forward to a world where only a few assembled factions of humanity remain. The totalitarian government sends out their best to confront Esther's order and take her technology away from her for their own purposes. Review. This book started out so strong. A post-apocalyptic setting with a sympathetic character who is struggling to survive and making tough decisions that turn out bad because of the dire straits she finds herself in. The ending of the first act really gave me a lot of hope for the rest of the book. Unfortunately, I ended up not liking anything past that, and what with the plot of an apocalypse caused by man and second by God, I had high hopes. From there, the other two acts are slogged down and pacing for too many changes in character. The story isn't straightforward because of this. I'm not a lazy reader and have enjoyed hidden details to enjoy a bigger plot reveal, uh, like Shadow of the Torturer by Gene Wolfe, but I didn't fl- follow this well at all. The story slogs through and the switching from inner character details to exterior plot to exposition makes it even more muddled. Action set pieces were very confusing as I, was sh- I wasn't sure who the military group was actually fighting to get into some hidden base in the outer areas no one has ever come back from. The other the- theocracy faction has some interesting reveals, but when switching from them and coming back, their story... Ha- has skipped and further uh, reveals from the first don't really follow the time from arc one to arc two, uh, where the majority of the story occurs just doesn't inform me of how the world has gotten this way. And for what reason the ending with a cliffhanger did not solidify even a good wrap up where all the, the, the ties are pulled together, even of any of the developed points in this book. Sadly, with a great plot description and a strong start to the book, the rest of the book fell flat With unclear prose and a winding plot of confusion, I didn't enjoy this, and I won't be continuing with the next one. Final grade, D-minus. 